So, you know what the problem is with most Amazon jokes? They screw up the delivery. So, as you can see, I bought the cheapest magnetic starter I could off Amazon. Not much to look at right now. It's a box, but... And now, it's open. So let's take a closer look inside here. On the inside, we can see they already heat shrank all the wiring they've done, which I don't see nothing exposed down here, up at the top here, or the switch they've put in. Right here we have an adjustable overload switch, which is actually pretty good range. The one complaint I will have about this, depending on your motor for a five horse motor, this might not go low enough, depending on the five horse motor you have. If you're running a big one that's 1750 RPM or somewhere around in there, then yeah, this will be fine. If you're running a motor that has 3450 RPM, this probably a little overdone. And in my case, this is going to be a little over. I'm putting this on a three horse 1740 RPM motor that draws 19.7 amps at full draw. And I've already adjusted it down to the lowest setting, which is 24 amps, which means according to their label, which is on the side here, this ain't going to trip until 125% of that. I'm gonna be a little far off, that's okay. When you get this, they do provide a wiring diagram, another wiring diagram, and a little instruction sheet. One thing about their wiring diagram, one in the cover, they got these labeled as T1 and T3 respectively, except as you can probably tell right here and here, they have it labeled different. So those connections for T1 and T3 actually correspond up to these marks and whatever labeling they used here, that's what that actually is. One thing I did notice with this though, they only have one spot for ground. And to me, it doesn't make sense. So let's move the box up and look. Right down at the bottom, which depending on your install might be okay, but if your power's coming in at the top and your motor connections come out the bottom, that means there's no real other common ground they made easy in here so what i'm going to do with this when i wire this i'm going to ground the incoming power up at the top of the box and through the box along with to the air compressor and then down here at the ground they provided i might use that might not depending how things go i might just tether one up there and connect everything common it's on the outside, which to me, I don't like that personally, and there's no room to flip it. And it just doesn't make sense with how far away it is. You think they'd put more grounds through here, but hey, cheapest one they had on Amazon, right? So let's get to the install. I should probably deburr that. <laughs> all right, so we're all wired up here. I'm not gonna show you how to wire this though. If you don't feel comfortable wiring this or anything, just get an electrician to do it. Well, we got it all wired up and make sure you size your wire appropriately or record in this case. One thing I do find odd though, they give you this jumper wire in there. They tell you to take out and I'm not sure why they'd really include this, but I guess if you just kind of wanted the on off switch for something, you could use this and have a thermal overload, but everything's wired. I'm going to go turn the breaker on and I'm going to go see if this thing works. So, let's give it a try. Okay, breaker's on. See if this power button does anything. Ready for the lights to dim? 
But the duh. And it works. So that's great. Now we're gonna see if it'll trip with pressure. All right, so as we just seen that did trip with the pressure and all that. And that is where my compressor is set to trip. So this actually works pretty good. And I am surprised for the $63 I spent on that. Everything works and no worries. Now, the reason you want a magnetic starter on your air compressor, if you have it wired just to the pressure switch, what can happen is the contacts can actually get welded shut and it'll just make your compressor run continuously, which can lead to bad things. And if you don't have safety valves that work on your compressor, this could go boom, which you don't want to have happen. One other benefit is too, because running through a pressure switch what can happen. You can actually get a voltage drop and less amps to the motor, which draws more current. What this does is help solve that too. Because typically when I have my lights on here and this would kick on before, all my lights would dim pretty hard. Where they really didn't dim on that startup, which is excellent. I can't complain for the cheapest one I found on Amazon. Typically you look all over and all that. These things are expensive as heck. So, the old Ingersoll Rand has a new upgrade. And I finally replaced the broken disconnect that was on this. So, until next time, I will see you.